With the ongoing NSAS protest across the country, the need for increased youth engagement and accountability has become pertinent to move Nigeria forward in an intergenerational dialogue organized by the Global Shapers community in Lagos. Participants preferred possible solutions. Plus TV Africa correspondent Adebanke Odunui has more on this. The purpose of the event was to come up with solutions to the problems Nigeria currently faces. Essentially what we want to do here is ensure that young people and older people are able to have mutual understanding, reconciliation and respect for each other's ideas and, and opinions and even beyond that develop actionable strategies to bring out bring about tangible change. So we recognize that against the backdrop of the NSARS protests, there were kind of challenges between young people and their parents, their aunts, their uncles, not really understanding why people are outside. We genuinely wanted to engage our parents and say, listen, we haven't we haven't been given the basic services that are in, we're entitled to as citizens of this country. The place of the youth and the place of the youth and its increased participation was emphasized. The next steps to follow in the wake of the NSAS protests were also discussed. I feel like young people have the capacity to do more, but we are a little bit complacent. The government has a part to play in this because we're not given the opportunity to really showcase what we have. One day this generation will pass and it will be their own turn. How are they themselves going to organize Nigeria when it gets to their turn? What are they going to do? And they need to start those conversations now, not when the future comes, they start to scramble around. So they need to be structured and organized to take over the mantle of leadership of Nigeria in the next five, maybe 10, maybe 15 years. The image of Nigeria has been battered and it is important to rebuild this. Social mobility and the assistance of the poor in the society was stressed as these people are also an integral part of the nation. A country that can work for everyone, where we can see our young people um, saved and kept well by the police that should protect them. We're also looking at job creation, where young people don't have to escape this country to live their dreams. We're talking about healthcare, where Nigerians can actually get affordable health. I would want a society where the rich and the poor are, um, have equal or almost equal opportunity, so that the poor can get a good level of education and they can move up from their you know, status as poor people. They can move up in society. The youth were named as essential to Nigeria's development and were urged to participate more in the administration of the country. Reported for Plus TV Africa, Adebanke Udunui.